what the heck is going on guys welcome to your third gate tutorial and in this video as promised we're going to be creating our very first git project so let's go ahead and do that right now so go to your desktop and create a new folder new folder and you might as well name it tuna because why the heck not now typically whenever you're creating a project you're probably going to use this folder to store a bunch of you know website files or maybe uh, Photoshop files if you're a graphic artist or maybe I don't know like if you're using it for school then a bunch of Microsoft Word documents but we're just gonna create a silly little you know tester document right here something easy for us to understand and maybe I'll be putting some text files in there or something so this is going to be our project that we want git to manage so how exactly do we tell Git that this tuna folder is the one that we want to work on? Because right now, when we open up Bash, it's just sitting there and be like, you know what? I'm Git. I keep track of changes in files. I'm ready to do my thing. But Bucky, you got a lot of crap on your computer. How am I supposed to know that this is the one that I'm supposed to be working with? Well, let's go ahead and tell Git that that tuna folder is the one that we want our project to be at. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to figure out exactly where Git is looking right now. And in order to do that, type the letters P, W, D, and hit enter. So right now, Git is looking at C, which is the hard drive, users, Bucky. And of course, that's not where we want to be. Right now, we're in the Bucky folder. We want to be in this Tuna folder, which is in the desktop. So here are some simple commands that I'm going to teach you guys and this is just how to really easily navigate um, on your computer so the first thing that you guys should always do is type CD tilde now CD may means change directory and it pretty much means change folders now tilde means home and what does home mean well go ahead and hit enter and then it takes you to whatever um, bash thinks is your home directory on your computer so now hit PWD and hit enter and apparently my home is C users Bucky so that makes sense because you know right now I'm logged in as Bucky so this would be home unfortunately it's not exactly this tuna folder so how do we navigate to that well the first thing I want to teach you guys is how to move backwards and forwards so right now we're in C users Bucky. If we ever want to go back one directory to this users, type CD, which is change directory, space, dot, dot. Now if you hit enter, what that's going to do is it's going to take you back one directory to C users. So you see how we're in C users Bucky? We're now in C users. So if you ever have to go back or up one, that's how you do that. But let's go ahead and get back to Bucky and this is how you do that so right now we're in C users where are all the folders that we can hop to well if you type LS and hit enter that lists all of the folders so all users Bucky default these are all of the folders so let's go ahead and go back in Bucky so CD Bucky alright so now you can see we're in Bucky again so let's see what we have right now right now LS so in Bucky we have all of this crap and check this out inside Bucky is our desktop and that's where we want to be so CD desktop alright now we're on our desktop which is right here but we want to be in this tuna folder so open up bash again and put CD tuna and hit enter and now check it out we are in C users Bucky desktop tuner <laughs> tuner <laughs> that's kinda funny but anyways that is how you navigate to where you wanna be if you ever wanna go back CD dot dot if you ever wanna go to a specific folder CD and then the name of that folder and if you ever just wanna list all of the crap inside that folder LS and of course there's nothing inside tuner right now so that's why this gives you you know pretty much empty but anyways right now we are inside this tuna folder and that is where we want to be but we didn't tell bash yet 
to create a git project or the technical name for technical name for a project is actually a repository so if I say repository instead of project I'm saying the same thing it's just a you know technical language versus me just trying to explain it so how do we turn this tune folder into a git project very easy git in it and hit enter now what in it means is is just short for initialize or start empty git repository so initialize empty git repository in everyday language means start a git project so that's all we did we started a git project in this tune folder and even though you can't see any noticeable changes right now this tuna folder is now a git project and everything we put in here git is now going to be keep keeping track of the changes in those files so pretty freaking cool pretty easy guys right so in the next tutorial I'm gonna be proving it to you guys and we're gonna be creating our very first text file to add in there and also if those Unix commands were kind of confusing, like cd dot dot uh, cd bucky, how to navigate around your, uh, you know, how to navigate around your computer via the command line, then if you guys have any questions, you can ask me on my forum. It's in Bucky's room, and I'll put a link below. And uh, also, if you have any other questions about Git altogether, then go there and ask. A lot of people are very willing to help you out. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.